his widow. So what if I have a confession to make? <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Did, did, did you also marry that then? Um. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Can you, even... you can't just go off into another dimension because some. I'm always confused on the delay between the transitions because you still hear some of the last clip, and then it switches over. Then you get a mixture of game and last clip. It throws me off a little bit. That call of Cthulhu. What? Yeah. We're doing it live. Cthulhuing live. Oh. I wonder if there's like Cthulhu events. Like gatherings. <laughs> yeah, I don't want to do that. <laughs> I'm not saying I want to go to one. I want but to it go just. There. But it's just like one of those things. Like. Oh wait, 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 cancel. I feel like I want crosshairs. The thing is, there's furry events and there's events right here. See, I would sooner go to a Cthulhu event than a furry event. Well, yeah, furry events are cool. <laughs> the lesser of the two evils. I'm not the kind of person that can exchange. When it comes to furries, I want to represent them. <laughs> fair, fair. Okay. Um, game. Empty slot. I even have a friend that's a furry, and I don't even hold back. For Edward Pierce, who a veteran of the First World War, war um, drowns his memories in liquor and sleeping pills. He is now a private detective who has trouble finding a case able to lift him from his stupor. Torpor. I don't know. Pierce must find a new case quickly, August, using his license. This is all about like somebody just driver's license. I know it's not the driver's license, but that's what it immediately makes you think of. So I didn't know that detectives license. <laughs> Apparently, <laughs> gotta get in there. You haven't detected in a while. If I am mad, it's a mercy. Oh, may the gods pity the man who is. Who, in his callousness, can remain sane and hideous HP. <laughs> <laughs> ah. That's not how I want to go. I mean... It could be worse. We're at least not... They're not alive. I'd rather start a game with dead sharks on land than the live sharks in the sea. If I had to choose. I mean, I guess. Peter, how's it going? You're first. Have you played... Can you tell me? Yeah. Have you played Cthulhu? Is her name Peter Sonny? <laughs> well, I mean... I call him Peter. He also is called the Tony, and then some people call him Tony. And then some people call him different. I actually don't know about that. But one of his channels is P Tony, but different. Um, so that's why I said that. Hmm. I didn't realize this was a first person game. I feel like if your name is Tony, you have to. Well, <laughs> I don't know if he knows how to make pizza, I will say. It's like every pizza place is named Tony. Oh my gosh. <gasps> this camera tilts. Well, it's not always a thing. <laughs> oh, you can't walk with it. I can you jump? Um, no. I'm trying to figure out if I can run, but that doesn't seem to be an option. Um, Maybe later. It is bleak in here. Oh, wait. What? You must light up some items in order to interact with them. All right, well, then give me... Oh, it's saying I need a lantern. Ah! No. Also, I think there was a lantern on it. Oh, maybe I just have to walk to the table? Please, you think? Ah, yes. The creepy mist lantern. <laughs> I should have known. Get away from the water. You think there's... Go back and interact with whatever that is. 
Yeah. Oh, this looks like um, explosives, maybe. Ah. Right, I'm gonna go check out the docks. I mean, he is a squid monster. I feel like water is. Well, he's a squid monster that gets in your head. We could take an escape though. Gets in your head. Yeah, it's like Cthulhu is like madness driven. So like he gets inside your headspace. I thought it was just like a. Uh... Um, you know, like legendary creatures can make you feel mad. I think it's like the horrors that they put through your mind make you go gradually mad. Or oh, maybe they just talk to you. What makes you crazy? <laughs> Unless it's like our voice and very manly. I don't think. I mean, it had like an echo effect. I don't think. That we can naturally get that without like a mic or some kind of thing. Oh no. This also looks way better than the Xbox version. I wish they didn't have motion blur. I hate motion blur. Right there not. I didn't see it. But it could also be. Correct. The graphics is just this. Brightness. Yeah, there's so many times that they can do that. It could be that it's more blurry than the normal blur because we woke up from a fever dream and there's carcasses everywhere. So that could be adding to our situation. Oh, and they also said he was a bit of a drunk. So maybe he's drunk right now. Oh, we can run. Thank goodness. Have I? Ooh, can I hit people with a lantern? Because if they're fish people, they should be weak to fire. Oh, jeez. Everything has already been written. So maybe, maybe I would go to a furries event before Cthulhu event. Oh, oh. Uh -oh. I don't know. I feel like that's not us, because where you look like that guy. Uh, on the image. Oh, he's gonna get all tentacles. Oh, yep, that wasn't us. We were all looking. No, why are we running? Ooh, we got nice pants. I mean, that's all I can see. So I'm gonna go with that. You have nice pants. Um, right. I used to be an avid reader. Great. Okay. Well, you know that about him now. <laughs> Married woman runs off with her girlfriend. Husband couldn't understand it. Mm. The husband never understood his wife had left him. He kept me on. He kept on calling me weeks after the investigation has been closed. Ooh, items obtained. You lost for telling me. Holding your position and obeying orders. It's been too long since I've slept in a bed. Ah. The couch looks uncomfortable. I wonder why I still take these things. Doctors prescribed them when I returned from the war. They swore they would put an end to the nightmares. But for a while now, the effect has been wearing off. Well, golly. Alright, let's just shut that right off. I, I should get rid of all this stuff. Oh. Natural sciences, linguistics, archaeology. A good old story of blackmail in the speakeasy. The bar owner who hired me didn't like the way I closed his case. But when they, when you're already outside the law, there's not a lot one can do against a private detective. He's got proof against you. Ooh, that's a good point. Can we drink? <gasps> This will affect your destiny. No! I don't want drinking to affect me in a negative way. Well, as he takes a drink. Yes. You just want that extra motion. Listen, if he's going to take a drink and it will negatively affect him, I'm going to take a drink and... Well, well I since guess... I jotted down something other than my nightmares. 
No, my book doesn't have a great um, go. Okay, Pierce's investigation agency. The doctor can, can well, the doctor can well repeat to me that I no longer need my remedy to keep my memories at bay. But I know that if I stop, the memories will return. One of these mornings, I probably won't wake up. Despite the treatment, against, I again hear voices in my dreams, but they are different and known. They seem to surface from unfathomable and ancient depths. What nameless creature is calling me? Oh, oh. We have eloquence, strength, investigation, spot hidden. Spot hidden. Um, psychology, occultism. We're very low on occultism and medicine. Dark water. Okay, let's use Lost Battalion. Oh, I see. Our sanity. I mean, I think that this is like part of the start of sanity games. This could be these. Here's one of the guys. I'm listening. When you I'm listening. Private investigator contacted by the Wentworth Detective Agency? That's correct. Hello, Mr. Pierce. I'm Lucy Sherrifield, in charge of investigators over at Wentworth. I'm calling because of a problem with your file. A fire has a file. some of our documents. Is that right? I'm so very sorry, but I have to collect your personal information yet again. Huh. Allocate your character points. Oh, I have eight character points? Thanks. Well, let's see what they do. Eloquence represents your ability to influence those that you talk to by the power of speech. I feel like this could be a good thing. We have eight points. Strength is going to be a huge... Mm -hmm. Oh, that's six? Yeah. And this is... We're already three out of five. So I feel like the three out of fivers we could probably leave for now because they're going to be a big... Think in our in our pool. Now this is four, and eloquence is four. Hidden spot where to find hidden objects. Moving this skill increases your chance of finding hidden objects. An undiscovered object will not appear in game. Represents the knowledge of human behavior. Improving this skill increases your chances of understanding the motivations of a person based on his or her behavior. On analysis of objects. Occultism all right, occultism represents your knowledge on the occult science. Improving this skill increases your chances of determining the use and origin of occult artifacts and expressing your knowledge of the myth. Medicine represents the medicine knowledge. Improving this skill increases your chances of determining the dosage of a drug, of making a diagnosis, or of expressing your understanding of medical problems. So medicine and occultism we have at the lowest. See if we can do eloquence. Save it. I feel like it will increase. Oh, wait. Oh, it doesn't even get us to the full, the full amount. It's like a little nod. Oh, you just gotta do it three more times. Oh. Oh, I see. So we could do, but then I need six. So I feel like occultism, it makes sense to improve. To be honest, I'm feeling like occultism and uh, medicine and then doing some towards eloquence because medicine, we only need two to get up there. So if we did that, did that, Why do you and then we get, two? it says we only oh. need two. <laughs> I you know, we only need level two of medicine, and then we never yes. need anything else. Then we're we're done. We're good for the game. So I think I think that's a to be good to at least balance out. Because I mean, occultism is obviously kind of come in handy when we're dealing with Cthulhu's. It's it's pure occultism. Occultization. I think if you take <laughs> off medicine, and then you can do eloquence. But we can get this all the way up to 30%. It doesn't do anything. I mean, it does. It's, oh, it still boosts the percent. Yeah, it still boosts it. It's oh. just that you gain, like, an advantage. 
like it's like the it's like a milestone so like right now we're amateur but we're 30 but we're more than your average amateur <laughs> whereas these ones we're seem we're complete amateur. novices so that's why i didn't want novice natures yeah i think this is probably a good Wait, when can I'm, you take it off of me? Huh? Mm, I think these ones are set. Yeah, I won't let. So his starting stats are his starting stats. So I was like, we could be really weak. Yeah, I could just take all the strength. <laughs> I mean, that, he, that, could, that could max out our eloquence. It makes sense that his strength would be high if he was a military person. Thank you for this information, Mr. Pierce. Our files will soon be up to date. And on I mean, he was in the military in the 50s, so it's not like they had... What's people wrong? that could just As you know, do <laughs> droid control. I, I, I'm assuming and that's a role. It would seem yeah. you've been accepting fewer new cases. Work is scarce. Is she on our case? You know as well as I do, there's never been more investigative work than now. But are those cases worth it? They're worth not losing your license. Show yourself worthy of the Wentworth Detective Agency, and we might keep you on the payroll. I am. Yeah, hang up on the secretary. We're not paying her to talk I'm to coming. us like that. <laughs> okay. Well, sir, I came here on the advice of a person whom I hold in high esteem, and I must say that I expected anything but a drunkard's lair. What is this lip sync? <laughs> <laughs> You're free to leave anytime, sir. Huh? Do you That's know to whom you speak? Oh, okay. Stephen Webster, industrialist and art collector. All of Boston knows him. Tell me, oh, Mr. Cool. Pierce, are you capable of handling a new case or are you simply a deadbeat inebriate? If you come to me, at least I can be my lips when I talk. Nobody How believes me. They take me for an old fool. Um, hosting actually went Sarah, away. My little as of yesterday. They just, <laughs> what? She was dead. It's a whole Even thing. Huh. <laughs> she was. I always thought it was stupid Hawkins. how it was on the shared button. I'm like, that makes no sense. Yes. Yeah. Everyone Hawkins. The police accuse her of killing her family. They all died in a fire. Sarah, her husband, and Simon, my grandson. I can't do anything for a woman who was already dead. He has a point. The truth. <laughs> <laughs> they say she was mad, but I know that's a lie. She was mad She would power. never have done such a thing. But if you have no proof... I've brought all that I have. Look. It's a painting. I want you to look carefully <laughs> at this painting. I know for a fact... Is Webster? Is he like most... Not yet. But now she's just... Come to mind. <laughs> he's just a paint carrier. All I have is this creepy photo. What am I supposed to find? Tell me. Tell me if this is the work of madness. Or if, on the contrary, you manage to detect some logic, a rationality to follow so that I may understand it. Is that all you want from me? Yes, please. All right. I'll look at How much is this? Hey. That's all you've got. You just say this. A painting. Oh, good I've thing we did a cultism. It contains everything I have on the affair. All right, let's look at your daughter's most creepy of drawings. What's this symbol on the man's chest? It's as if Sarah Hawkins breathed a message into it. Okay, that's one interpretation. Um, examine the painting. Oh, no, no. This is... Oh, a strange picture painted by Sarah Hawkins, a short while before a tragic death was sent to her father just after the artist died. He is convinced that she is the sender. He brought me the painting so I can examine it. Stephen, Stephen Webster, the wealth industrialist, <laughs> industrialist, that's it, came to my office. He wants to reopen the Sarah Hawkins case. Um, named after his daughter, who died in a fire along her entire family. I must examine the documents and com he compiled in order to know about the case. Every single time I'm hearing her 
Hang on, I'm thinking of City Hawkins dance. Intuitive and visionary, artists for some, both a priced imposter for others, Sarah Hawkins leaves nobody indifferent. This mysterious and reserved painter offers strange images with violent colors and wild strokes to the world. If her paintings are a testimony to her vision of the world, then the world of Sarah Hawkins is a portal open to other dimensions. Extract from the notebook of Edward Pierce, private detective. Oh my. <laughs> Wait, how can there's a... S Oh, no mind. That's the side angle of a face. I thought there was somebody clinging to this image and they were wearing a space helmet. And I was like, why do we have space helmets and Cthulhu? Space tentacles. <laughs> and the only way to escape Cthulhu could the warehouse space. on space. <laughs> Some sketches of the Hawkins family. Shipping Rather label. Oh. Okay. A shipping label. Some of the unreadable, but... Uh, some of it is unreadable, but I can make out part of the address. Warehouse 36 Starkwater. Police report. It says that the fire started in the dining room and claimed the whole family. The police decided on a domestic accident, but they nevertheless insist that Sarah Hawkins' mental state or mental frailty. Why? A press cutting. An article written about the marriage of Sarah and Charles Hawkins, a businessman from the island of Darkwater. They live a reclusive life there with their only son, Simon. So, Mr. Pierce, what do you make of these elements? Oh. You shouldn't take this painting lightly. I read about her mental frailty. Something's not right about the story. Find out about Warehouse 36. So, what do these icons mean? Unlock dancer. Okay, well, let's do an unlock dancer. The meaning... That must be because of our exactly, cultism. Mr. Pierce, I think your daughter is sending you a message. That's what I believe, yeah. too. It was three months ago that I received the call from the police telling me of my daughter's death. And yet a short while after, this painting was delivered to my home. The painting my is home. linked to this case, can't you see? You must find the meaning behind all this. All right, so that... You must tell me. If what the police suggest about the mental state of your daughter is true. No. Sarah had... <laughs> no, I don't patience. must. <laughs> Everyone knew that. She never would have heard a fly. She only thought she saw things. Saw things? What do you mean by that? I never knew what she meant by that. My daughter was an enigmatic figure, Mr. Pierce. You must find out the truth about her life and death. Must I? Ew. Her husband was a big deal on the island. But the police are sticking to the accident theory. Though they mentioned Sarah's mental state at first. I believe you are right, sir. This fragile. Case is not as simple as it looks. I am not aware that of that. Fragile. I believe there is more to this case than just an accident. Okay. So. Dark water. Never heard of it. Where is oh, his tie is all disheveled. It's a small, remote island off the coast of Boston. Sarah lived Big there with Boston. her son, her husband. I suppose you want to ship me off there. Darkwater holds the secret regarding my daughter, Mr. Pierce. I wonder if Darkwater actually does exist in Boston. It. The sender's label mentions Warehouse 36. That's right. It came with Sarah's last painting. And you think yeah. your daughter could have been the sender? That is what you must find out. Go must to Darkwater. I? Find Warehouse 36. Fictional remote island located off the coast of Boston. Hmm. I think I'm beginning Darn. to understand. I would want to visit I'm it. I'm willing to do anything for my daughter I to recover wouldn't. her honor. Quiet. Why? Why? I'm on your see. side. Let's sum things up. An artist dies with her family in a house fire. Your so only there's no fire escapes. Is a sort of premontory painting sent from Darkwater right before her death. Correct. And the rumors about her supposed folly. Which you don't totally deny. Find that warehouse. Find out <laughs> Moving the on. Find the Sarah warehouse. Hawkins death. <laughs> you will be handsomely compensated. All right. I'll take the case. I'll go to Darkwater and look into the death of your daughter. 
water. Thank you, Mr. Pierce. I didn't expect any less coming from a man in your situation. Oh, Something's what's that quiet. supposed to mean? Then it's not like I have a choice. A man in my position, eh? Dark water. I think I've got a book on the North Atlantic. I'll no doubt find some information on this island in there. Oh, no doubt, no doubt. I, I didn't look at this the Wentworth area. Agency doesn't attract top-notch cases. Okay, so that doesn't say very good about this. Oh, what? Wait a minute. A dense worker aimed at interns of the young practitioners. The first volume lists all the illnesses known in civilized world. Wait, did that just increase my... Learning a medicine volume one. Oh, medicine progression. Wait, no. Wait, did it? We were already at this, weren't we? No, we were at 20. We went up 2%. So we can find books. It's like Skyrim. I don't think Skyrim actually. I mean, Skyrim, you could read books and they could increase um, some of your attributes if it was like. Yeah. I think Dark water is off the coast of Boston. Yeah, but so there's like book tomes scattered around. That's to this why book, people start looking at books. During whale hunting times at the end of the 19th yeah, century. Yeah, I just did full story and then I put it. seems to have been shunned since then. You mean you never read the lusty Argonian maid? <laughs> nope. <laughs> that's the one book I feel like that's like widely known. <laughs> in Skyrim mythos. Sounds like a classic. Oh, <laughs> you find it. You find a tome in it in almost everybody's house. <laughs> Darkwater Island has been inhabited since the 14th century and is still rich with many memories left by its lost tribes. But don't let the romanticism of these moving evidences of such naive and primitive beliefs fool you into forgetting how violent the gods were. A gigantic creature still or, or ornates um, the walls of long abandoned caves. Was it a sea or a dream god? No one knows. But today's inhabitants, the sons and daughters of the proud whale hunters, still remember the mysterious and tumultuous. What is some of these words? <laughs> Story of this small land off the coasts of Massachusetts. All I have to do is go to the port. I just hope that I can find a boat able to take me to dark water. Yes, to the two mule distance. Also, new planter. I am workshopping that, meaning don't apparently. What's the worst of it? Yes. <laughs> I'm working on it. Zero progress. <laughs> it means that's at least cost my thinking. Yeah. Then the initial thoughts and part of it. To be honest, part of me wants Taco Bell. <laughs> Taco Bell and Burger King are probably my favorite fast food uh, places. Uh, David, <laughs> at least do real tacos. I'm just saying that sometimes, sometimes Taco Bell, it's a thing. Only a thing because of Baja Blast and the meal deal. After they got rid of the meal deal, I'm like... I can't spend more than five dollars at Taco Bell. Oh, I can. <laughs> it's like I'll just buy a box of laxatives if, I, if that's what I want, you know. <laughs> Which to my they have the crunch wraps. They've I, got I chalupas. The reason why I had digestive issues was because I love the Diablo sauce. They have. It goes right through me. They have burritos. Do they? I mean, you can't really call it anything a taco or a burrito there. <laughs> I mean, especially the hard tacos. That's the most disgusting way you can make. Well, I can't stand there like, oh, you get like a a side taco. It's like it's you get people unfollowing us if you keep hating on hard, Taco Bell. It's about. hard to eat. <laughs> it's the crappiest cheese outside of America. Well, I can't eat cheese. So then, what do you got? Then you got this mean? crappy meat. Well, you can substitute a bunch of things in. So I'll get like rice out of the things. I got black beans out of things. Potatoes. In, they literally bring in dried meat and then boil it to, and and mash it, it and to make it more meat, like more meaty. And then they cook it. And it's like so. It's just you can double the meat now. <laughs> it's like multiplying <laughs> zero by two. It's still zero. Well, 
Yeah. I would honestly rather eat Beyond Beef than Taco Bell meat. Because <laughs> I'm pretty okay, sure. Okay, so we could get you a um, the unbelievable burger from Burger King, and I can get. I'm not going. To. <laughs> We're almost there. But also, there's no way that Burger King can sell chicken nuggets that cheap. Like. I mean, but they do. But what is it? It's. I believe in the chicken nuggets. It's, it's gonna be like half potato or something. Like, there's no way that's that's 100% meat. Well, that's because 100% chicken. I mean, maybe they just grind up an entire chicken. Yeah. And with the feathers and all. Maybe they and just like, get cheap chickens, the ones that people don't want. <laughs> they collect them all. It's, it's like Burger King. Now you can get 50 McNuggets or 50 Burger King nuggets for like $2. I will say, $2. it is a poor vision on them. To not always have the hot nuggets, the spicy nuggets. Yeah, I mean, same with McDonald's. Like when they don't have a uh, hot uh, chicken McDub or uh, McChicken. Oh, I didn't even know they ever got that. But I don't understand Stay why people always treat. There's what? guys coming to unload. They always treat like spicy menu items as oh, we can't have this all the time, <laughs> even though they're always so much better than the original. Welcome to Dark Water I think it's Island. more like, the beach. oh, uh, well, not you. everybody gets these, so we'll just bring it back occasionally. So, what wind yeah. brought you? Freaking people with pure taste buds. What Does wind brought us? Taste You're taste the captain. <laughs> ah, a sad story that we would all prefer to forget. Charles Hawkins may have been a landlubber, but he was a good man. Landlubber. And his wife, Sarah Hawkins. What is this uh, town? A nice young woman and a great painful wife. Who, you know who what? would want to live in this town? Go have town. a drink of the stranded whale. <laughs> this what is you need is a good looking town. Mitchell may not be very welcoming, but his bar holds a surprise for you. His bar? As for me, you'll find me at the Harbor Master's office. Harbor Master's office. If it's the Hawkins family that brings you here, I have a pile of documents that should interest you. Documents. Understood. I'm going for a look around the docks. Okay, we could still run. So, can I drop in the water? No. Can I just go back on the boat? What happens if I go back on the boat and just leave? Oh, they saw this coming. They moved the boat up just enough that I can't actually climb into it. I don't understand why they would... Like, what ferryman is going to do that? Because obviously I feel like they would be also getting stuff they here. They just they're... overshot their target a little bit. Yeah. They're new. But they were right on there for me to get off. They just didn't drop anchor? Is that what I'm seeing? I guess you got off while it was moving. <laughs> just quickly. <laughs> you did like a dramatic roll, you know? Do a barrel roll. Boop. Alright, so that's where what's his face. So talk to Fitzroy is the main. Go to the bar, talk to Bradley. Who is Bradley? Also, there's beached things. And I think this is whale bones. Hey Sullivan. Can't go any faster. See how old is this? Sully. If we force it too much, we'll break everything. I right. Ooh, medicine. The blood is just beginning to coagulate. It died a short time ago. Only a specialist would know what can be done. Only a specialist. can't understand you. The same goes for you, sir. Move along. Ah, this is Bradley. Bradley's mean. Everybody's really ugly in this. You're totally out of your depth, sailor. These sailors got upset over nothing. I'm looking for this address. Warehouse 36, Darkwater Harbor. Hello, hello. Ah. How's Cthulhu? So far, so we have seen a distinct lack of Cthulhu. Us. How's things Edward going Pierce, for you, Peter? In any case, it's not very important. I can't answer that. You can't? Or you don't want to? Can you love? Oh, no, no. I'm not so getting like into hello. those games, me. Now, hello. please. I'm guessing I read it job. as hello, hello. <laughs> Not wait, wait, wait. No, 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 no. I want to bash the sailors now. Oh, no. No, I lost my opportunity to bash sailors. Wait. 
Games. That's the same outfit that the guy that dies Damn was in. Here you can see the future. Forget it. Oh, Nobody that's listens to us All right. anyway. Let's finish saying. Oh, no nice. No way to treat an. Your volume seems low to me today. Is it the mic volume or the game volume? Or both? I feel like it's just a quiet game. Right? I mean, there isn't much going on unless there's dialogue happening. So far, we've not got very much music happening. Prohibition is just a both. joke around here. Well, that seems David's very fun. loud, so I doubt that's normal. <laughs> I can, I can move the mic down some. Well, I think I'm also sitting farther away from it. Um, so I don't know if that could be a thing. You usually have a quiet voice, Kevin, so that makes sense on your part. And I can put the volume up some, and then maybe that's better. Oh, wait, what's this? Oh, pro Prohibition? Why are we at this place? We can't even drink? Wait, did Prohibition only happen in certain places? Maybe. I, I, I never really researched it because it's a sad time in our country. Yeah. <laughs> um, but I think it was across the country. Yeah, because it's like we're drunk. So how does that work in Prohibition? You know, we should be sober. You oh, can yeah. Stay to watch if you want. You can pick up ah. There's nothing for you here either. Sweet tits. Button your shirt, mate. Sweet mm. tits. Oh, oh, why are we listening to him? Don't we have a lantern? We could whack him with it. Yeah, I mean, we should be able to walk wherever we want. Like, we're in a dark alley or something. I mean, we just, the town. we just arrived in this town. You mean to say that we can't go anywhere? He's like, stay in the middle of town. You can't come to beat it. <laughs> like, choose a dark oh, alley. Oh, but yeah. Like everybody else. Jeez. Also, that's not very good for business. That's how you start a fight. <laughs> Don't don't make eyes at the very <laughs> strong sailor man that you face. It. What is wrong with him? Oh my gosh! Hey, be careful. What? I'm confused. We are Did we to, not just do that? We are trying to start some shit. <laughs> I'm confused. Who was the? A candle. No, Let's that's like one of those drink. old. Wait. In my bar, we don't serve troublemakers. I'm not in trouble. You're overdoing it. The guy didn't show respect. It wasn't me who went looking for it. Ooh, let's be. Hold to test eloquent. Ooh. Oh. Oh my. Um. Yet you served this man, and you can't say he's the oh. <laughs> He's a regular. It was you who provoked him by turning up with your mainland manner. Mainland. I ask nothing more than to become a regular as well. well which will be difficult if you refuse let's not to serve. Push. <laughs> I hope you're less talkative when you're drunk. Try me. <laughs> we barely <laughs> said anything. We'll see. Okay. Uh, order a drink. I feel like I shouldn't order a drink. Because <laughs> it said earlier that it's going to hurt me. You really want me to? Yeah, first. I didn't expect to find alcohol on this island. What's oh, the maybe the prohibition doesn't miracle? live here, work here. You mean no, who? not work here. Maybe it's our source of here. supply wouldn't like me to betray them to the first comer. I'll tell nobody. She'd know it anyway. <laughs> Anything else? Oh, you just don't trust me. Do you know where this place is? Warehouse thirty-six. <laughs> Do you oh, know where this place is? The and pause. Warehouse. I see. Yeah. If I were you, I wouldn't hang around there. Why not? First off, there are rumors. Sailors from around here say you can hear noises coming from the warehouse at night. Screams, that sort of thing. Screams? And that's not all. There's the fate of its owners and all the superstitions that go with it. But I'll say no more. Anything right. else? So, shut I feel like I should find out about dark water. Uh oh. I know about What Santa. can you tell me about her? We all knew she was famous on the mainland for her paintings. They seem to hate the Never mainland for why. unknown reasons. Then, can you no longer get a drink? I don't want to speak. I should be able to get a drink. Um. It's true that they were strange. 
It's not speaking ill if it's true. And I've said about her vision. Was it so terrible? The way I see it, the truth is really a question of point of view. What do you mean by that? Do you still trust the truth after a bottle of whiskey? Yes. Her style made her famous. How would you describe it? Tortured? Yeah. Well, it wasn't normal. I mean, for a young woman with a child and all that. We saw them in the papers and we said to ourselves, who can paint such things? Is that how she sees the world? Yes. So they made you feel uncomfortable. You need to see Everybody them for yourself. You make creepy paintings. Make up your own mind. This is why I'll never have kids. I've got what I need. <laughs> Anything else? Okay. Found out about. Oh wait. No. Wait. The stranded whale. We lost you. I guess this bar has been here a long time. What can I tell you? I'm a nostalgic sort of guy. The Who name, are you? It reminds us of the golden age is of that rust? water. It's all rust behind left you. left for long months and came back Rusted. sweating and stinking of the oil and flesh of the whales Awful. they'd been hunting. It was a tough time. Also. Okay, why? Ah, it was a tough time. In glory. We've never known such wealth since then. Alright, so if we hit return... Order a drink. Captain Fitzroy told me about a little pick-me-up. You want a drink? I wouldn't say no to a glass. <laughs> Try this. I, I never understand how alcoholics can... I think we'll get along well. It's like... No, it depends on how your body metabolizes. And if that's the only thing that you really do and you don't eat much. Yes. Plus it's, I mean, I don't think alcoholics, like, for the most part... Wait, what was that symbol up there? It said it will affect your destiny. No, my destiny! That'll be but for now. I feel like drink people that option. are alcoholics aren't usually getting, like, mixed, fancy, sugary drinks. They're like, give me the pure bur bourbon or the pure liquor and they just take shots of it. So... Mm. Yeah, but it's also like still pretty high in calories. Maybe, but I don't think it's as bad if that's your calorie like intake for the day, because you could just. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. I'm not I, advocating I just, I just for it's, alcoholism. It's, it's, like a, it's a real shot in the foot when you're trying to lose weight. So I'm like, what you looking at, stranger? Are like skinny and drunks. You can certainly put them away. Nothing at all. What's a woman like you doing in a place like this? <laughs> that sounds like very much an NPC line. Tell me something I don't know. I meant nothing by it. I'm just wondering what a woman like you is doing in this flea trap. <laughs> and I'm wondering what could be going through the head of the chump who goes to disturb her. Let me drink, stranger. You're smoking. Wait, maybe I told you, you to you beat it. Deadpool? Okay. What? Have you seen Deadpool? No, of course not. He was like, uh, what's a place like you doing a girl like this? The miraculous catch. Apparently, the most significant event of the last 80 years. Wow. That's a lot of reading. <laughs> <laughs> so anyways. <laughs> hmm. Nightmares. Can hear things and voices uh -oh. whisper. Look at his hands. We'll follow its uh, reader and appear at various scene. locations. Cut scene. I'm not in a cutscene. He's not talking. Until He's leading liver ibo. Oh no, not the liver <gasps> ibo. That's it. Maybe we should let him take it. No. No. The risks are too high. His name is Alagaron Drake. He doesn't Pure like knowledge. You think so? Oh, oh, he's got arm tats. Like, even his shirt is all disheveled. Bloody. Or dirty. Oh, I guess. Like, it looks like he's been uh -oh. in a fight. Nightmares. Can he is that how he started before? Whispering. We'll follow its reader and oh, okay, appear yeah. at various locations. Do you like our song? No. <laughs> We're true psychics. I came to ask you, so I'm singing, We may not actually. be pros, but we give it all we've got. That's true. 
It's a reminder of the time when we were still fishing for whales off Darkwater Island. The end of whaling. What is this I've song? I've never heard this song. Maybe I can bad mouth Only it. Only people what from is? here know it. It tells the story of the miraculous catch. I saw the newspaper. <laughs> chocolate. <laughs> Watch what you I say, I love it, chocolate. <laughs> that catch saved our island. Ah. Where's the proof? We're the proof. Without it, the whole of Darkwater would have died of hunger in 1847. It's true. Everything happened, just as it says in the newspaper report. Our grandparents tasted its flesh. Oh. And it was delicious. Oh, no. Don't look at me like that. I'm leaving. I bid you farewell. <laughs> <laughs> Good night, stranger. So long. Uh, get me out of here. Ooh, wait, what's Charles that? Hawkins was a heavy drinker. And a debtor. Interesting. Ah. Not unlike me. In this game. Not in real life. We have drunk a lot though. I mean, I'm not a heavy drinker. But I mean Saturday we it was pretty heavy. It was pretty hard. Ah, it was fine. <laughs> not driving home but driving around no, fine. Yeah. But, but was... I didn't pass out on the floor. <laughs> Broken. This place seems half abandoned. I mean, it also looks half. Fishing equipment. <laughs> Could do with some rust remover. A souvenir from a more prosperous era. It's I guess this blackboard whale, hasn't been wiped for more than seven years. These are the kinds of wares, whales they used to get. A scylla. It finished up beached at the entrance to the harbor. All right, don't mind me, guy. Oh, this is bathroom. Oh no, there's no toilet paper in here. Gotta use your hands. Nope, leaving. Hmm. Okay. I, I feel like that guy anticipated me talking to him, but you know what? Oh, another volume of venison. Yeah, what, 24% now? Look at this go. All right, who who lit all these creepy that candles? That is creepy. Like if if light sources are green, <laughs> and have a mist about this them. man, it's not good. Fix <laughs> twins. Okay, we got that. Closing what that. a macabre souvenir! Oh, it's a leg. I thought it was like a or crutch. Or like a... Oh yeah, that too. It works. Right, the music is all tense up here. Yeah. How come all the lanterns have a mist, a haze about them? Maybe, maybe that means that, like. I brought out the I, Charles guess, like, Hawkins cargo manifests. They're on the table next to you. But in truth, you're likely to be disappointed. When you're done, come join me on the deck. I'll choose my own to seal a lantern now. These oh, manifests yeah, are up. signed by Charles Hawkins. But that's all I'll get from them. Young Blake, how's it going? Alright, so we got these. Oh, jeez, he just disappeared. Sir? I would not walk on this. From here, I see everything that goes on in the harbor. You the can't possibly. There's building obstruction. The fights of the stranded whale. Even the antics of these wharf rats don't escape me. It'd be better. I got it's sick. No. The law I'm here. sorry about that. Oh, I how, that how bad of I'm sick. just the last serving captain on dock. What's that emoji? Tell it's, me what um, I can do from to help Elden Ring. You. Oh, the pot too. Yeah. Okay. So we unlocked your documents on Your manifests have been blacked out. They're totally unreadable. Yeah, I saw that. I've got no idea who did it or why. You're obstructing justice. I don't justice. remember having countersigned anything special enough for someone to hide it. And why obliterate the dates, as well as the goods stored in the warehouse? You mean that the dates have some meaning? <laughs> what do you mean? Change headache, slight fever, sore throat. Oof. Well, are you able to rest up some? Or I'm guessing you 
gotten some rest out today, I'm hoping. I'm surprised Charles Hawkins had goods to store, knowing that whaling stopped in 1847. I see that you're interested in the history of our island. Indeed, maritime well. activities ceased altogether at the end of the last century. I imagine that the Hawkins family had other types of contracts. But you don't know with whom? No. It was none of my business. Oh, Mr. I see everything from up here. I'm looking for Warehouse 36. Do you know where it is? Look, it's right there. Work early and the warehouse is hours. opposite the jetty. That's a great it. fever dream. <laughs> oh, no. Well, at least, at least you got out. You know who the building belongs to, don't you? I'm so interested in this game. How is it? So far, um, I haven't gotten too far. It is interesting. Oh, wait. Should I lie to him or tell him that the Hawkins have it? Do you suspect him for blacking out the things? I mean, so far he doesn't have... I can't see his arms. I don't know if he has um, Cthulhu arms. Yeah, it does belong to the family, but that's unlocked. It belonged to the Hawkins hmm. family. Precisely. Oh. Ship owners from father to son. I think that somebody oh, he here just sound intelligent to search then. this warehouse. Yeah. I shall be on my way. To the so warehouse. Come back and see me when you've got something new. No. Oh, okay. These people have left. Oh, and these people seem to be leaving. The ones that were mean to me earlier. So I just need to get inside the warehouse. Oh. Hello, sir. You saw what happened with those sailors. Don't hang around here unless you want trouble. <laughs> he with lost the his hat. Oh, where are the bootleggers? This doing warehouse here? looks abandoned. Why does it interest them so much? No doubt a question of territory, but I ain't asking. If you want to know more, go ask the captain. Good. Thank you. Mm. I shall take Bye. my I don't want to know more from you. Wait, is he the only per Oh, okay, never mind. There's a walkway over there. I wonder if there's any kind of combat in this game. Find hidden items. What did you say? Oh no. Wait. What? Wait, I need to. Wait, are we in chapter two already? How does find hitting items work? I missed it. <laughs> Simon Hawkins, schoolboy, age 11. He looks disturbed. Okay, our sanity seems mostly fine. We're stable, actually. Um, right. Oh, no. It looks like there's a way in under this grate. The way in is very green, hazy. I wanna... I wonder if there's like another button I could be pressing? Oh, wait. Maybe... Down... Ah! Uh, ah! Uh, wait! Oh my gosh, I have a lighter! Oh wait, this is a ladder. Can I not climb the ladder? How'd I put it out? Uh oh. <laughs> there we go. So you had that thing where you like react with the ah. react with the hand part. Oh, oh my. There you go. I was inspecting the bricks because I thought there was something hidden. I could use this old winch to lift the grating, but it's been completely taken to bits. There must be some spare parts amid all this clutter. It's been taken to bits. Evans to Betsy. See, why is there a mystery thing blinking though when I'm in here? A hidden item somewhere in this. But I don't have enough skill to find it. Alright, cool. Well, at least I figured out how to light it. 
light up. Come on. How do I light up again? Oh no. I've already took light. Ah, it's triangle. That's it. There we go. Ooh, maybe we could burn Cthulhu tentacles. Well. That's no way to treat an omen. I know, we're gonna go to it. <laughs> with the green haze at the end of it. I think I figured out the issue with you guys' this town, guys. You have you have green haze everywhere. Saint Brendan. Patron saint of sailors and travelers. Desecrated. I can't even say which language it's written in. Well, so much for our cultism knowledge. Yeah, Cthulhu is classified as one of the hmm. ooh, old ones in like D and if you're using D and D terms. You have it. No. Damnation! Broken. Oh, <laughs> we, we... Saved. oh no. Oh yeah, is there like a manual save? No. Last. I mean, I guess we're not the master of unlocking. We're no Jill Valentine. <laughs> there is a lot to be desired in the aesthetics of this town. One of them is wearer bones sticking up out of the ground everywhere. Can't be cool. Like, we get your profession, but <laughs> enough's enough. You live here? Why did you do that, huh? huh? We saw what you did to St. Brendan. We yeah, looked at him. we'll teach you to come onto our island and ridicule our protectors. What? I've done such a thing. Who's St. Brendan? I just arrived, you fool. I respect your beliefs. Well, our beliefs? You mean you don't believe in God? That's irrelevant. That's what you think. There's you, our beloved statue, and then those two bozos behind us. Wait, now that I think about it, it's got to be them. There's yeah. one of them who's always going back and forth to the statue. Yeah, go get Quieter. them. That's all we need for them to hear us. What brings you to dark water? Murder. <laughs> Here are the guys keeping... Uh, keeping two dark. guys behind you. What are they guarding? The bootleggers. Scum. Hmm. They're protecting their territory. From whom, I wonder? They really don't have a choice anyway. They're more scared of cat than an attack by drunken sailors. What? If only they would kill each other. <laughs> Who is cat? This cat you mentioned. Is she their boss? Oh, she's oh, probably cigarette on, lady. Hold on just a minute. We didn't tell you a thing. Nothing at all. Who did the voice acting? <laughs> These two. I've right, taken just... enough of your time. They have not jumped Let's enough. See you later. I wonder if you do get to play the voice acting for a drunk person in a game, if they allow you to drink to be in character. Yeah, it's like I'm just doing my research. Where do you think you're going? Well, I guess not here. Oh. I'm not Come here on. to hinder your work, officer. Hinder Edward your Pierce, work. private detective. Sorry, we're all a little on edge today. What are you doing here? Why I'm investigating today? the death of the Hawkins family. Darn it. Why do you want to drag up all that stuff again? My investigation has led me to this warehouse. Yeah. That case was closed months ago. Ah. What more can you say about the death of the Hawkins family? Not much more than what everyone knows. Uh, his I team. wasn't on the case. They were yeah, all burned to death, right? Kind of Up at their place. The I can't tell if it's the animation specifically flames. or if it Don't was Don't get it design. into your head to go wandering like, around up there. It's dangerous. Even the what do you mean by that? 
the only one left there is old Silas. I guess this must be the, the accident has affected him badly. He can be unpredictable, especially if a stranger starts poking around the property. Is he a danger to the public? No, he's in his own home. Do yourself a favor. Leave him well alone. Listen, buddy. I got a lighter. Okay, I thought it was going to be a little bit more threatening than that, but you don't even hold the lighter door up. Alright, so I feel like we don't want to mess with those boys. No, if it gets out, I'll have serious problems with you. How could you be dumb enough to leave the entrance to the <laughs> warehouses unguarded? Keep your voice down. Why not go and shout at the cat while you're at it? I don't want to end up with her little knife under my throat. It's a stiletto, you idiot. And with that smell on your breath, I don't give you much chance. I have a stiletto anyway. knife. Oh, wait. Stiletto knife? No. Wait, yeah. Isn't that a... I think that's the type of knife that's right over there. The switchblade. I know a stiletto is also a type of heel. Yeah, I was like, do you have heel? No, but I believe it's that. I think the heel, it's, I think it's... It's the one from Unfortunate Events that has the knife on the... Yeah. But I think that that's also a type of knife. Or, like, I know that it began with, like, an S word besides switchblade um, when I bought that. I yeah, think it looks like it. Yeah, see. All right. That's a weird way to tell me that you have heels. I, I'm not wearing heels. I have a oh, knife. Who's this guy? No idea. First you better was... keep it shut. What's with you wandering around yeah. here like a hungry dog? Taco Bell. We saw you talking to the two soaps. So the Go die of thirst. Oh, a lot of you. Yeah. It'll stink less. Okay. This passage. Leads to the investigate their activities. Lie, cat some. Ooh, let's lie. Oh, there's an I've got to get inside. It's your boss who sent me. Oh yeah. And why didn't she say anything to us? She sent me to ugly. see who's filching her stock. I don't know what you're talking about. You got no <laughs> proof to back up your claims, and I'd advise you against snitching. Okay, well, what's with you go. wandering around here? We saw you talking to the two soaps. Go die of thirst, a lot of you. I've got to enter the Hawkins warehouse. I guess it's going to be complicated. No, it's very simple, in fact. <laughs> Fuck off. Okay. I don't give a damn about your racket. I just want to get into this warehouse. And we don't give a damn about you. Whatever your reason for wanting inside, there's nothing we can do for you. That's an I want cthulhu -ing. I went to see the statue of St. Brendan. I mean, I don't know what why I care about we this. We're bootleggers, not savages. Who do you think defaced the statue? What do I know? They could have done it by themselves. The sailors. Who else, in your opinion? And who's interested? Can I stab them? All right, let's leave. I bid you gentlemen farewell. There are more options. Yeah, but I feel like that would just end up talking. If I can't get circles. rid of those two, uh -huh. I'll have to look for another way. Yes, let's climb over here. Oh, never mind. I forgot. This is not a climbing game. All right. Well, this is—it's not a strand game. <laughs> it's a strand-like game. Just build a ladder. I mean, but literally, like I'm not in shape, but I could climb. <laughs> <laughs> onto that boat, onto this crate, and, and they, over that and fence. They'd, they'd be like, Oi, stop there! You know, and they would probably shoot you. I don't think they had, look like they have guns. And besides, they're too okay. drunk to be they aiming. Would they would harpoon. Okay, but they're also all drunk. They would still harpoon. I think they would miss. Well, and that's what we'll find out in D&D. &D. Yes. I mean, how that's how I approach oh, these yeah. circumstances. <laughs> Wait, was there anything in the sky? Birds. Oh. <laughs> birds. Birds. Freaking birds. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so maybe there's a way in here. Oh, wait, maybe I just need to. You never lifted that grate, did you? Well, no, because I need like a pulley system. And he said there's parts missing. Oh, wait. Aha. A whale vertebra. Okay. If the newspaper clipping in the bar is true, this bone is a real fossil. 
Well, I thought it was going to be more helpful than that. But maybe if I use my lighter upstairs, I'll be able to uncover some things. I didn't think of that earlier. They said some things you can only use when you can see them leave. Dang. <laughs> okay. Um, Dark and fall damage. They won't let you. It's got like those invisible edges. Last invisible edges. Also, who did this? Is like Charlotte Park. <laughs> Denver's the oh, oh, oh no. When I run the light, it fades. Oh, maybe, maybe there's parts in the barn, and by barn, I mean bar that I can use. Do you guys have parts? Okay, actually, it sounds bad. <laughs> Let me show me your parts. <laughs> Maybe over here? No. Okay, this is the guy with the... Uh, I forgot, that's why I left here. Oh, wait, I imagine this is Cat. Break. I told you to beat it. Yeah, but I know your name now. I talked to oh wait back door die no we really suck if this game was designed that you had to put investigation up high at the beginning otherwise you can't proceed <laughs> okay. I feel like I yeah that was the guy that won't let me pass earlier so maybe there's things I can loot from this guy's office Maybe you're back again. Yes. What can I do for you? This is warehouse again. The bootleggers Apparently have blocked the, the warehouse. Apparently, the bootleggers don't want anyone yeah, hanging around. Yeah, I'm telling on them. <laughs> They're part of the private property I mentioned earlier, and oh. yet the place looks abandoned. Why guard the entrance? As a precaution, I suppose. All the warehouses are more or less interconnected by old sewers. You mean that there's a way to go from one to the other by tunnel? I couldn't tell you if it's still the case today for all the warehouses on the island, but I think I can imagine what you've Looks got like in mind. We're going to you can the always sewers. visit them if you're not the claustrophobic type. <laughs> okay, I didn't ex Oh, he didn't give me any tools? Wait, there's a bag there. Yeah, I searched her. Earlier. Fishing equipment. <laughs> Fishing equipment. There was some rust remover. And rust remover. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I wonder what Captain Fitzroy has got to say about this former cat. Okay, but we already tried saying we were sent by cat, and they didn't did believe me. Bell? Yeah, it didn't do anything earlier. Hey, what's going on? What? Out there? Did you go outside? Yeah. Um. Ladder. Maybe there's something up here that I can use now. No? Anything? Anything at all? Let's close that. Let's close that. And there's the leg. Alright. So all we did was confirm our suspicions that the best way is by underground. Alright. Oh, ooh, this is like pulley. Can I just like steal something from this? Dang it. Maybe the whale ate it? What could have done so much damage? Okay, no, the whale. Okay. Maybe. Can I push him in the water? Can I go in the water? Okay. I wish I could push him, because then maybe I could get stuff off of his... It looks like if your medical was good enough, you could have turned it. Well, I did that earlier. That's why I just tapped it this time. Because he was just like, this happened recently. It wasn't very helpful. Alright. We already tried that door. We don't have... 
stat for it. Oh, there's a pulley. Look on the back of the statue. Back of the statue. Bottom. Bottom back. Oh, oh no. That looks like something's clinging to it. So wait, what did they do to the statue? They desecrated it with those ancient glyphs. Yeah, that's definitely not random. Well, I mean, random drunk people can still write Cthulhu, and Cthulhu controls them. By the power of Cthulhu, anything's possible. <laughs> In Cthulhu, we trust. <laughs> I feel like that's a shirt somewhere. And if it's not, money. I wonder. Yeah, I wonder if like I could like design and print like blue you dollar bills. You should make me a shirt that says in Cthulhu we trust and I can put it in the market. Because HP Lovecraft is, um, I mean, it's uh, old enough that it's uh, copyright is free. Yeah. So that's why you can see it so relevant and all over the place. All right, guys, how about this? Hee hee hee. Dang it! <laughs> What What's if we with try you wandering around here like a hungry dog? We saw you talk. Go diet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How about? Okay. I bid Actually. you, gentlemen. <sighs> what am I supposed to do? If I can't get rid of those two. Yes, yes. I'll have to look for another way. Oh my. Um, this guy. I don't. You know again? Being... No need. Okay. Nobody's friendly. Why is everyone in this horrible town? No, go talk to Kat again. She just says no, essentially. Well, you tried to ask her out, so maybe... I didn't try asking her out. Oh, yeah. I just thought she looked too clean just for go, this place. Just go talk to her about something. Or talk to the guy behind you. There was no option to talk to him. Like, she just gets pissy when I talk to her. I told you to beat it. Just beat it. Yeah, you gotta dance. Beat it. No. Not going to. Michael Jackson beat it. And this door doesn't open. So, I feel like what I need to do is get another drink. You no. again? <laughs> what can I get you? Um. You know about the Hawkins what? What do you know about the Hawkins warehouse? If I were you, I wouldn't hang around there. Okay. Why not? Well, first off, you are not rumors. Me. Sailors from around here say you can hear noises coming from the warehouse at night. Screams, wow. that sort of thing. No, I don't want to do that. And that's not Screams. all. Maybe it gives you more options. There's the fate no. of its owners and all the superstitions like, wow. that go I'm with it. My beer. But it's going to affect my more. destiny. Anything yeah. else? I think I want to be... I don't want to order it. That'll be thing. all for now. It's too soon. I want to be semi-sober-minded. As I'm exploring Cthulhu's. You have no right to treat us like this. Ah. Okay. Who haven't have I talked to this guy since he's been on the move? We're no longer at home on our own island. Oh, Calm geez. down. Not worth the effort. <laughs> <laughs> I just was in a voice up there like with headphones. Just being like, We're no longer at home on our own island. Alright, that was perfect. Oh yeah. <laughs> Nailed it. <laughs> you didn't tell me that the warehouse I was looking for was right in front of us. Oh. Because its owner is dead. And ah. I don't want to see you hanging around it. Now please, leave us to our work. You can't understand. Don't put Come the on. back in the water, you What am I supposed to do? Go talk to the guys again. I keep talking to them. Wait, expand? Oh. Not much. Enhance. Enhance. Uh oh. Enhance. Enhance. Okay. Yeah, just go talk to Darkwater Place. Wait, do you have CP available? I don't think so. Oh, I have two points. I need only two points for this. <gasps> Validate. Now you can try to talk to those guys. Hey guys, I'm super seductive now. Hmm. 
What's with you wandering around? We saw you throw die a third. It's just talking about the warehouse. Kath, she's your boss. What? You listen through Keyhole? No. She's the boss, yeah. She says who goes in or not. Shut up, you dummy. You wanted to know that you also talk too much. She must be quite intimidating if she can make two men like you tremble. <laughs> she redid the smile at the last one who wanted to get in. I hope you had a good dentist. No, no, you don't understand. She really cut him a new smile. But he only smiles with the left cheek. <laughs> oh, no. Wait. She sounds frightening, your boss. And she doesn't like to be talked about behind her Dang back. It. I thought I could maybe stage a coup with these people. Dang it. I bid you gentlemen farewell. If I can't get rid of those two. Uh, I'll have to look for another way. I'm looking for another way, game. What you're not doing is giving me options. I wonder... Well, well, look who's back. Did you miss us? Yes, I want you to start a riot. <laughs> get rid of the I have an words. offer that could interest you. Yes. We're listening. I need you to keep them busy for a while. You send us to take the punishment while you go quietly about your business. Yep. What's in it for us? What would convince you to help me? There's only one thing that'll get us to move. For sure. Bring us something to drink and we'll take care of the bootleggers. I'll be back. Take your I'll time. be back. <laughs> We're going nowhere. Uh, everything will grab about this place. Makes me feel soggy. Oh, you start crawling on the ground. What? Crawling on the ground. I didn't see it. But a mouse or Listen, boy, can't under. Give me something to you go. Again. What can I get you? Um. Buy a Let's bottle. Say I want to buy a bottle from you. Choice is yours. Everything's on yes. sale. How much for a bottle of whiskey? I don't think we actually have to worry about crying. I guess I'm not desperate. I'm not judging. It's only five dollars. <laughs> oh my gosh. Bobbly, how's it going? That'll be all for now. Man, if only bottles of whiskey, we should move to Boston. <laughs> well, I guess actually, so it was five dollars, but this is like the early 1900s. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I mean, I would live in this town if it was five dollars. I wouldn't. It's still too soggy. Everything just looks wet. Though. Well, so, this is hello have you got well. what we asked you for? Yo. But how's your day then? I've got Look you a I bottle. Got. Oh, oh. You're a good guy, you. <gasps> no prohibition for dark water. Okay. Um. <clears throat> Cheers, you jackass. It's hard to see what emojis are. I don't are. feel well. But maybe it's hey, better for your eyes. Where are you going? Okay. Say that crouch. again. Don't mind me, guys. I hope for your sake that I did. <laughs> Perfect crime. Hey, put my lighter out. Anything here? Anything over here? Wait, did they just disappear? Back. Hey. Yeah. I'm curious as to what happened. You're like, oh, I'm gonna get caught. Well, not necessarily, but curiosity and all. Wait, um, do you me. like this game? First time. So I started it a long time ago and didn't go that far. Um, Kevin owned it and never touched it. Well, I sold it. Yeah, you owned it and never touched, touched it because it. you sold it. I put it in okay, I mean, you never played it. <laughs> I turned it on to see if it worked. And then I sold it. Let's see. <gasps> Investigation. But, David, if curiosity kills the cat, that's how you kill the cat. I mean. Perfect. There's other ways of killing cats, technically, but yes. Oh, this I think that's stinks. the organic way. There's a lot of ways. What is the Scanic connection hat. between this place and the Sarah Hawkins oh, case? Oh, we should close it so they don't know. Ah! Enter reconstruction scene. We've got mind's eye. 
Okay. So we have psychology. What happened here? Oh. Put some clothes on. Or is it a she? Because we know that um, what's her face was here. Okay. So there's some pounding glass. Um, what is this picture of Charles and Sarah? There's Hawkins some crying doing sleeping. Here. Um. Lock picking. My Skyrim. Oh yes, I remember you trying to do that. Is this one of Sarah Hawkins' oh. paintings? Wobbly. What would you? Do you think Taco Bell or Burger King is better? Which I am saying this knowing that you're vegetarian. <laughs> it smells as bad as it looks. Also, like, who has like enough his, money to buy painkillers? Like saying it stays in a Donald place Trump like Joe this. Biden better. Not great. No, no. One of them is can't definitively. Sleep. <laughs> I know how that sleep. feels. Okay. Um. So we get to relieve reconstruction. Wow, that's one heck of a choice. Wait, do you have an answer, Blake, as far as which one you would prefer? Okay, Hawkins Warehouse, Burger King, because Taco Bell is pretty bad. <laughs> See, I like Taco Bell. <laughs> if I could have an opinion on it. <laughs> yes, you could certainly have an opinion on it. Taco Bell is only good if I can spend less than $5. Where's Peter? Peter would back me up on Taco Bell. <laughs> I used to be able to walk out of Taco Bell for like right, $3. So what am I supposed to do now? Um, so we searched the place. Pro Cthulhu! <laughs> wow. How he is the game? Cthulhu. I just picked it up. Um, yes, Cthulhu in the flesh. Um, but so far it's fine. I got a little bit stuck on a puzzle already. But our cultism has never been better. Um, so what's Pro Cthulhu? Did Cthulhu get a job? <laughs> Hello, mortals. <laughs> Cthulhu's trying to climb the corporate ladder now. I don't know. Do you think Cthulhu would have a deep voice or like a mystical voice? I like... think the voice that we heard at the beginning. No. Definitely the voice at the so, beginning. Was... Hello, mortals. Yeah. <laughs> hmm, Taco Bell has never been a favorite. Really? No. Okay, pro Cthulhu. What is Cthulhu's take on Taco Bell? <laughs> we need these Cthulhu tips. Taco Bell versus Burger King. Um, and Taco Bell has never, um, I used to really like chicken nuggets at Burger King, but the Burger King, Burger, but the king of BK is creepy. Oh yes, this is true. The mascot has much to be desired. But so he the is other a, one is a clown. So it's like, it's, they're not great. Oh, you're talking about McDonald's. Yeah. Cause that's the main competitor. Here's the thing though. Taco Bell has a Chihuahua dog. Had. Well, I mean, they got a new one, I think. But I think also, regardless that's one of the only reason why I can remember Piero means swan. Is deep and... Th oh, I can't do thundering, but I can at least do deep as far as the voice goes. But yeah, it probably would be thundering. I used to like Taco Bell. The one uh, the one with the spicy Frito burrito. Spicy Frito burrito. <laughs> it's fun to say. Uh, and the Dorito ones. Isn't it like Doritos Locos? See, he, here's the thing. I used, to get, I used to get a Baja Blast and a meal deal, and I'd get a five-layer burrito, Doritos, and Baja Blast by three dollars. And then if I wanted to, I'd get nachos for a dollar. So I could, for like three to five dollars, I could walk out of there full. Yes, and but have you considered spending now there's no more? Way. No, there's no way now. <laughs> if, if I'm gonna spend more than five dollars, I'm just gonna go to, like, I'd rather go to cookout. Okay. You know? Oh no. Yeah, I'd rather eat from the. Who hurt you? I would rather eat from the Walmart deli than Taco Bell if I'm gonna spend money. Walmart. So. so here's the thing: never a Walmart. Walmart's never an option. Um, but um, but see, I was I was actually on the right path. It's Doritos Locos Tacos. <laughs> Baja Blast in Hank Hill voice. Oh, Baja Ha Ha Blast. <laughs> I never ha, even ha, saw. Ha, ha, I never seen uh, King of the Hill, ha, 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 but blast. I've heard the commercials. Um, I used to. Oh, okay, yeah, I did read that. Does Taco Bell have those churros? Yes, I think so. They were pretty okay. All right, I feel like that's half of a compliment. Cookout all day, yeah. Cookout was not <laughs> well. It, it wasn't an option, but it wasn't initially an option. But here's here's. My oh, what should I start on? 
Ooh, maybe hidden spots? Oh, I only need two for that, so let's do hidden spots. Okay. But here's my cookout strategy. I you have a cookout bacon, strategy. Bacon costs a dollar to add to a burger. So what I do is I get a cookout tray, obviously, the burger, and then I get a bacon wrap with no ranch. And then I take the bacon and the real cheese. Yeah, and I'm gonna give you this is large Kevin explaining. I'm large Kevin. <laughs> So I take the bacon and the cheese and the lettuce from the wrap, and I put it on the burger, and then you still have another side, obviously. And then you take the tortilla, and you wrap the burger to keep it all in. And literally, because they try to fill a wrap with bacon, it ends up being bigger than the burger like patty itself. So it's a mostly a bacon burger, and it's only six, like maybe $6 now with inflation, and it's amazing. It just seems like so much work. To map it out, obviously ordering it, you just have to say a couple of words. I mean, it's words. less work than making a burger. But you had to, I'm saying that in order to figure out that you could do that combination, it seems like a lot of work to get to that point. It's it's kind of evolved over the years. I used to just eat the tortilla like a, like a savage, and then I realized I could wrap the burger in it, so that's, it, it's evolved over time. Mm. But. Is it though? Um, but I have confirmed Wobbly was giving us a half compliment to Taco Bell. So she's halfway complimenting one of the dishes there. Um, you need the Taco Bell cinnamon balls. Oh, what? Warm and well creamy and so Okay, that actually sounds good. Minus the fact that I can't actually eat them because I can't have dairy. But yeah. by idea, um, the idea of it sounds good. Yeah, Cinnabon is just like... warm, warm balls that are. Have I had? Inside. I think I've had Cinnabon before. Yeah, I must have. It was in. It was in the mall. That yeah. was around. I think I had. I like feel a, like I probably had. I think it I once. had a, a cinnamon swirl thing from there before. A cinnamon bun. Is that what they call? You're talking about like the pastry that's circular and it's got cinnamon in the rolls and it's usually got like white icing on the yeah. top. Yeah, that's a cinnamon bun. Okay. But I didn't know if they had a special name for that. So. Like a cinnabon, cinnamon bun, cinnamon, 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 cinnam
Oh, all of our bad decisions are coming here. to him. <laughs> Clear the passage or I'll shut you up for obstruction. Officer Bradley, you've finally grown a pair. Too bad you're too fat to see them down there. Why you? Come on, keep the smile. You don't want to force me to widen it. Okay. Okay, she it. just really likes Let's having that as like... Now. I did it Who one time, and everybody knows. What were you doing on my turf? I've got my eye on you. We'll meet again. All right, cat. We're probably gonna miss her. Is it far? This mansion. <laughs> Look behind you, at the top of the ridge. Like we're the only people in this town that. Like you it. see the building? Yeah. I'm Daddy. <laughs> Michael Scott, the Hobbit, season the five, of episode. Mansion. Come on. 27 at 5 minutes 44 seconds. Wow, that's really down to a T. Cthulhu's power is now mostly <laughs> office based. <laughs> <laughs> it's like I have the power to, to source any quote from Thomas. <laughs> Get on my level, yeah. <laughs> I suppose when you've lived an eternity, then. Eventually, you get around to memorizing all of yeah. the office. You just get bored of enslaving people, and you decide, you know what? I'm going to watch the office. <laughs> over and over. God to your shrugs. Oh, no. Oh, ooh, enter madness. Madness is a fence. <laughs> but I guess it's a gate, really. Yeah, our guy... Oh, no. He doesn't look that good, actually. He's got a big scar on his face. Yeah, Everyone's scarred maybe, maybe up. Maybe that's the person that actually had that the mouth opened up. Oh, he does look like he has his mouth potentially open. Maybe that's why he's a crooked person. He's got a crooked smile because of the cat lady's crookedness. Maybe his father taught him how to smile also. <laughs> okay. Why so Well, here we are, Hawkins Mansion. Ah, this looks... See, it's not as burnt to a crisp as they make it out to be. The place has been abandoned since the fire. Thank thanks. There's only old Winchester in his hut. Okay. This place is falling into ruin? Yeah, because it got burnt. You're yeah, the first to... Uh... Your partner, Andrews, warned me against him. You managed to get hmm. something out of that bomb? I'll end up asking you for advice. He talks. I don't like how much. he looks at me. He inferred that old Silas was slightly unhinged. That's not far off the mark, I suppose. All right, all right, cop. I want to enter madness. I don't want to talk to you. You know, Silas Winchester has been working for the Hawkins family as far back as I can remember. Charles ah. was like a son to him. I got the fire. He lost his whole family. So he's got nowhere to go. And, as you'll see, in a way, he's still watching over them. Is there anything else you want to ask me? Or do you want to go up there? Oh, I want to go up there. I um, want to go up there. <laughs> let's not waste any time. Night falls quickly here. And I want to be able to see... I don't want to keep talking world. to this person. Cthulhu says with he's you. annoying. <laughs> if only to be true science. <laughs> Wait, what? I'll go with you, if only to reassure Silas. Should we ditch him? Yeah. You ah. stay here and keep an eye on things. Okay. Ah, he looked cross-eyed the there. impression that I'll ah. leave alone inside the mansion. Hehe, <laughs> <laughs> we don't need you. It kind of reminds you of like... Ah. Jeepers. Pose <laughs> prophetic raven. <laughs> let's, uh, let's clip that. <laughs> That was the first scary thing to happen in this whole game, and it was just that. <laughs> I feel like this is the scariest reaction. <laughs> this house is much older than it seems, but the architecture seems to I was just like, oh, some birds are birds. Jeez, okay. Well, they just happened so quickly. Okay, so this is fine. Charles Hawkins' grave. Bah! Who could have done this? <laughs> Got him. <laughs> Lady Gaga's <laughs> just dance fading and playing. <laughs> it's <laughs> Brad Haven. <laughs> Mike Kirk. 
um, Gary Scott, The Office, season five, episode 20. Oh my goodness. Yes, he crooked AF, got them eyes, scares off the goth girls in fishnets. Oh my. Flowers. I mean, I feel like so when you're in a fishing town, there's no other way to the just old if you're a goth girl. Must be very attached to her. Okay, so lots of flowers for Sarah. Poor kid. <laughs> That's all we get. Poor kid. Okay. You hate to see it. Yeah, poor kid. He doesn't even sound like he's scared. Oh, I mean, like he's actually sad for the child. All right, this is fine. He's just like, mwah, mwah. Hmm. Okay. We got a game saved. This door. It wasn't poor if you lived on an island with a mansion. I mean, I feel like that's mostly true, but this island, like, I, even if it was like, you can stay at this mansion and it only costs like $200,000 to get, I'd be like, not if I have to live on that island. <laughs> it's like living in Concord. Can you get away? Whoa. Oh. Whoa. You are trying to force the door, you nosy prick. Easy, sir. All right. Okay, maybe we should have Put brought the cops. The you know what we do with rubble like you? We got them. Dump them into the ocean. See, Whoa. that makes this house only decrease in value if that's how they treat the people that live there. Your oh, oh Mr. no. Mr. Winchester, lower that axe. And let's talk calmly. Yes, we have eloquence. I'll show you how we have it out on dark water. Please don't. All right. Oh, oh, oh no. Oh no. Are we tied? <laughs> oh, look, it's Captain Ahab. Okay, um, I work for I. Oh, you haven't forgiven ah. yourself. You stay I here some to honor the memory of the deceased. That's true. I want no more violence, no more tragedy. Well, we could start with dropping that last axe. one left. You don't know how right you are. Understood. I'm listening. Well, the police report much. describes a domestic accident. But Stephen Webster has several reasons to believe that this oh, may not Webster. be the case. Webster is as stubborn as an old mule. And I did tell him that we should let the dead rest in peace. Mm -hmm. He wants to restore the reputation of his daughter. I just need to see where the fire started. Him balding no, with a ponytail. I can't let you his in. Feelings. The mansion isn't safe. <laughs> Yeah, that's that why fade. he barricaded the entrance. That's right. But and I guess this it's not door, fade. That's a it's locked. Recession. And I no, make sure it stays <laughs> that way. It's the Steven Seagal. Okay. If you want to get rid of me, Daryl Hawkins is important to you. Yes. You still put flowers on her grave. You cherish her memory. Mrs. Hawkins was an exceptional person. She Where cared she? for everyone she around. Her. Creepy paintings. Let me shed a light on what happened. Give me that key. Yeah. Mm. I'm probably making a big mistake, but it won't be the first. I we can't yeah. really hurt the mansion Take anymore. Take the key than it's and do what hurt. you have to do. Go on then, just to get rid of you. Let's see what more I can learn. <laughs> this ah. Piers, shall we enter? Where were you? No, I enter alone. Now that you finish your fun and games with Silas. We can perhaps inspect the mansion. You could have needed you You're right. The whole Let's go. No, no, no. No, I what want to now? ditch him. See, crooked. <laughs> I I see everything you were saying. Okay, enter. Let's take a look inside. No! I'm coming with you. There's no way I'll leave you alone in there without a watchful <clears throat> eye. Maybe the building will collapse on him. How? Oh, well, I guess if you left because of the cop, then... You might not have seen if he met a grisly fate. Here's hoping grisly fate happens in the mansion house. Because I'm thinking he's going to be the one that gets like killed in front of us, and that's when we realize Cthulhuing is happening. Is he's probably going to like get lifted up in the air and tentacly grabbed. Some kind of monster is going to happen here. Yeah, he's going to get the monster reckoning. Um. That's my hope for Mr. Cobb. And then, then you, you and you and Hot Girl are going to be like, oh my gosh, we're barricaded out in a closet all by ourselves. Hey man, I didn't touch that guy. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Oh, I see. You're saying, <laughs> Kathy Lou will die. 
<laughs> okay, well maybe I have one of your servants cut him Follow up. Follow me. I know the place. Who left this light on? Who left the light on? He's like, follow me. You immediately go ahead of him. Oh, yeah. I don't need his little lamp. I got the a little lighter. Last Supper of the Hawkins. What does this tell me? It tells me they ate. Okay. Ooh, psychology. Sarah Hawkins and little Simon. As he knows this Perfect place. Perfect picture of the Simon. middle class family. <laughs> yeah. I, I think I agree. He definitely seems off. Okay, enter reconstruction. Blinding light. All right, so I'm guessing somebody here. Oh wait, no, that's not a chair. That's like a detective thing. All right, well somebody's got to have been somewhere. Medicine. This roast. What strange creature has flesh like this? A boar. Okay, maybe. Wait, yeah. go, go wait, 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 wait. Okay, that's not a boar. It's a slug. Uh, uh, it's, it's a it's a slug. It's a cthulhu head. Oh, you think so? Oh. <gasps> See the eyes? Oh my gosh. They have your head on a plate. Oh no. All right, let's just add this into the This place is for the head of the family. Charles Hawkins. Okay. Well, sure. We could have figured that out without psychic vision. The boy was probably here. Smashed his plate. See, on the floor. that's deductive. They have my, you know, <laughs> I have money. It's okay. <laughs> Sarah Hawkins' plate. Why did she leave it untouched? Well, because it's disgusting. Yeah, for you. Something happened at this table. An argument? Probably over what they were eating. <laughs> Honey, I told you. Stop <laughs> trying to cook Cthulhu <laughs> here. Working officer, this oh my gosh tells us this... a lot about the Hawkins. Oh no, my it's a lamp. I but we don't have all table. day, huh? All the Seen folks in the fire ah. next door. Seen that rat? Oh no! All right, um, come on. Let's this see if I can find something the cops missed. Ah. I feel like they could have made an easier transition than blinding white light. Oh, oh, what's this? Was this Charles a Hawkins a heavy drinker? Ah, we found a hidden, I think. If the painting I found on the docks really came from here, oh, how no. come it didn't burn? It's been possessed. They had a fight. Why? The child's corpse left a trace. A okay, child was it? drunk, passed out by the fireplace. Did it stop at the time of the fire? Ooh, what's this? Did Sarah Hawkins lose one of her shoes? The true tragedy. <laughs> Shoe loss. Alright, so he's grabbing her. That's not good. Um, what else can we figure out from here? Hmm. It's almost like it would be easier to figure out things if we weren't in a hazy mess. I sorry? Nope, can't even start a lighter. Um, maybe if I come at it from a different angle? No, nothing there. Uh, hello? Oh. Alright. Where should I look? Or do I just leave? No, it won't let me out of reconstruction. Uh oh. Aha! Did someone escape? Naked! The fire? <laughs> they had to escape with no clothes. lamp was thrown. This was no accident. Maybe it was thrown by accident. Oh. This was a fight. We didn't start hurt the fire. It was always bad. Someone 
to a lantern. They really start to pop it. Ooh. A desperate attempt to flee. Yeah, you have to stop, drop, and roll. They forgot the basics. Hmm. <laughs> Wait, where is he seeing this? Oh, a book. No, never mind. Oh, boy. So, detective, oh. what do you make ah. of it? I don't like you. It's official. The police botched this investigation. Yeah, let's blame the I police. I think that some of your colleagues should turn in their badges. This room is bursting with evidence that seriously contradicts the official inquiry. Well, of course, Mr. Holmes. Oh. Like what? Okay. Someone had too much to drink. The dotty The dotties. The bodies were someone escaped the fire the time of fire doesn't match That's i was under one. the impression the fire started around midnight yes at silas banged on our door around 1 a.m poor devil ran so hard he was almost belching his lungs out Ew. this clock burned before 10 p.m that's like your crooked cop but what you imply silas never would have hurt the hawkins family Besides, I imply nothing. Dr. Fuller confirmed the hour of death in his report. Your clock must have already Dr. Stopped. Fuller is full of it. You don't find that suspicious. Who's this doctor? Honestly, you don't find that suspicious. That's troubling, I have to admit. Hmm? But I trust He's Silas. And Dr. Fuller is an authoritative figure. <laughs> The mainland Indeed. folks are damned envious that he's here with us. I feel like by the time we got it would be like 9 o'clock before a friend and we could family. Eat. I'm sure he took the matter to heart. So, excuse it's me if Mondays. I value his opinion over yours. <laughs> Why? Let's move on. Ugh. Okay, so this guy doesn't care about the it fact that we're giving him hard evidence. Fled the crime scene. What'd you say? That mark on the door. Yeah. Someone's hand slid down that. The left side has no mark. The door was open and that someone left. For God's sake. I mean, if it's Charles or Sarah, they wouldn't have left their son. with all these movements? They would rather die in the flames as a family instead of calling for help? I don't buy it. It's getting dark, oh, but yeah. I don't want to be in this mansion alone with him. I'd rather be in here with Cthulhu than this guy at this Simon point. Was, but not his parents. Pro Cthulhu. Where were their bodies? Buried? I think he's gonna try and I stab can't me. Help you on that one. So I'm too. I'm too. Charles and Sarah's bodies had already been carried away when I got here. Without your authorization, by whom? Marshall Andrews, Chief West. We never deal with cases like that, you know. We don't so, deal with cases like that. Well, that's not a Boston accent. He's on a bottle of whiskey. Empty. Well, that must have been a loss for you. Mommy, don't no go, glass. Daddy. <laughs> Getting hot. He's on a fire a lot. And doing Charles something unholy. <laughs> That's Who says that bottle hadn't been there for a while? Okay. This guy has been absolutely no help. The fire was an accident. The fire was caused by the lamp. It wasn't just an accident. I firmly Let's believe this fire was more than just an accident. Huh. What's your theory? Is that the theory? Couple had a fight. It was arson. This is a crime of passion. But we know the couple had a fight. I think the Hawkins couple got into a fight. You sure of that? There's only one way to be sure. Oh, 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 what are we doing? <gasps> we gained a CP. I just ask that you don't disturb anything. If Chief West found out about what we're doing, I'd fight over eating my tentacles also. <laughs> um, let's see. We have three CP. Oh my goodness. Oh my. Oh my gosh. Oh, I see. So we can't use those. So it's a good thing we use those points for these when we could. Um, because the medicine and the occult can only be improved by objects discovered in the environment. So. That was good of us. All right, let's just do psychology, I guess. Now we just need one more. Validate. There is, um, we want to start thinking of food. There's a Chinese place that I've actually liked. What? 
sure what. Only had bad luck with this. I mean, I think it's fine. I'm not saying that it's better than King of Spicy, but it's fine. And it's not horribly priced and you get a decent amount. I don't know, take a look. Alright, I'm just making sure that it's better than what we've had, because we've had some pretty I bad. I serious trouble. I don't know if it's like a Stockholm this door syndrome and I'm just like, this is fine, or if it's actually like decent, but I know I at least like one of their sides. And if that ain't something, I don't know what is. So the general subs. Um, I think it's okay. I would say, do you like sweet and sour chicken? Yeah. I would get sweet and sour chicken. These bandages are covered in. Oh, the same, same bandages that I saw in the warehouse. On the oh house. my gosh! And given Look the at blood all the stains, I'd also say that steamed dumplings and wonton soup. Ooh, so I get fried wontons, and that's the thing that I think they do really well at. The lyrics I I should get of the, the drunken sailor. Fried wonton sea sweet shen. sour sauce. Yeah, you can get two orders of that if you want, because I'll have one too. Or were you saying I should get sweet and sour chicken? You should do both. Caution to the wind. Actually, just double. Just do two orders of sweet and sour chicken, two orders of that, and then we place the order. <laughs> and give them the standard amount of tip. Whatever the default tipping tipping is. What what is what are go to Chinese orders that people use? An original edition of Mary Shelley's Frankenstein, dated eighteen eighteen. Okay, um, what's happening? 15%, 18%, good tip. Yeah, I think there's usually, I mean, I don't know how much it is, but hmm. I feel like the, because in the DoorDash no app, I feel like there's usually like the a decent amount or whatever the, the initial tip amount Mandatory is. Mandatory reading for any whaler, I guess. This piano is in disrepair. See, Captain Ahab. Looks like was the that Hawkins oh, that's what I missed. Decoration oh my gosh. Them. Do you want to upgrade to the, to the Dash Pass annual plan? No. I don't want to commit to such a thing. <laughs> Chenoa Sao's chicken with lo mein noodles and spring rolls. <gasps> it's good. You picked up a Moby Dick book. Ah. Oh, I see. The human... <laughs> the human body. I was thinking the humane... I've been looking at the Humane Society's website too much. I'm just reading that into everything now. <laughs> All right, so I feel like we go upstairs. Okay, everything just naturally has this green glow. I don't like it. Dark water history. It should be here between This place was settled and back in 1692. Okay, cool. By two families. By we a should book get on some hunting whales. Theoring. The island's staple diet last century. I would like to have something more scary than birds happen this street. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you were pretty scared There's of those birds. <laughs> I know. So. And I want something else to offset that <laughs> low scale, cheap, 20, jump scare under stuff. The sea. Another story about the mysteries oh, I mean, of the What I need. I, I gave you a spook. What I need is more occult books. I need my occult knowledge to increase. Give you some. Cthulhu. -y. Yes. <laughs> so wait, we could put points in there before, but now it's locked. Correct. So we did good doing it earlier. What did Sarah have done to make this person threaten? I to just call read the that book recently, actually. Oh, really? Wait, the book Moby Dick, or are you talking about Cthulhu? -ing? Is Cthulhu -ing a book? I would be surprised. Dear sir, oh, as wow. you know, I have always held you and your family in high respect. Unfortunately, oh, I can no longer continue to close my eyes on the behavior of your wife. Last week, she, again, terrified my clientele. I know that, that she means no harm, but you should place her in the care of Dr. Fuller. He, alone, seems able to make her come to her senses. If you, these disturbances were to reoccur, believe me that, although I would feel like, although it would feel like torture, I would be obliged to involve the police. Respectfully yours, Anton Wellard. 
I guess this is Anton's voice. <laughs> Jules Verne man was interesting for sure. Hmm. Scribed things nearly a hundred years in advance before they were actuality. Hmm. So I have the book you're talking about was two thousand leagues. Yeah. I saw it. Oh, 20,000 leagues. Not yeah. too, that's even more leagues. That's ten times the amount of leagues. <laughs> yeah, I have basilophobia, which is just a fancy way of saying I do not like oceans and large bodies of waters, essentially. Um, so I have not it's read... Rest. Locked. Lost. Oh, oh, okay. It's not lost. Uh -oh. oh, oh dear. The boys will. Oh, no. He made do with what he had, and what he had was books. Oh, I bet we're gonna find a cult books in here. <laughs> oh, child. That's not good. Oh, sweet if child. If my kid ever drew like that, I'd be like, <laughs> we gotta get rid of it. <laughs> we're off to the see the bishop. <laughs> and what threat was Simon protecting his world? Scuba diving, uh, submarines, space travel, etc. Hmm. Fun fact, in high school, my buddies and I actually, like, were in a Cthulhu cult. <laughs> we would say Cthulhu praise be upon him, then put our hands on uh, your face and have fingers be like tentacles and go slurp, slurp, slurp. <laughs> but of course, the sound effect was just, <laughs> was not just saying slurp, slurp. Oh. I, I want to believe that it was. Tom Sawyer. Slurp, slurp, Mark Twain. slurp. Sarah must have read slurp, it to slurp, him slurp, bed. Instead of making the sound seem legit. <laughs> yes. Oh, 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 no. Praise be oh. upon him. Praise be. Sleepy girls. <laughs> Strong oh, for an 11-year-old boy. <laughs> what was oh, wrong with his family? Oh, my, yes. <laughs> okay, why is mom in here? Okay, can I, uh, can I get out of this horrid room? Oh no. Oh, oh, it wants me to interact with the paintings now. What nightmarish It'd vision. It'd be funny, could have but I promise, I promise you made the sound. Simon's yeah, troubles kind of like what you problems. just did, just not that the slurp. Ah. Ah, yes, my slurp sounds just tingling. <laughs> oh. Yeah. No. The boys. All right, so we had a clear case of boys in. Uh oh, so I think ah. office. <laughs> but I can open up. This. Oh no, no, not that door. Where was the other door? Aha! Now I'm just <laughs> thinking of the ode. From Doctor Who and Doctor Zoidberg. Oh my. Huzzah! Um, <laughs> this is an office? This ledger lists all of the paintings Sarah Hawkins. Nice chat. Have a great stream, bud. All right. All that being said, though, I'm going to take a short shot of night quill and pass out. Yes, I hope you feel it better soon. The last one was Get some sleep. Free to her Thank you for being here. Sanders. Down the night quill. <laughs> Why? Despite what happened, they Just seem to have loved each other. Just don't what? Cook your chicken in there. Oh, oh no. The FDA has re recommended cooking chicken. In <laughs> wait, wait. They need to say this? Oh no. Was Sarah Hawkins interested in the occult? Mm. Where to? <laughs> Looks like a revocation ritual. Was she oh. trying to invoke something or banish it? Oh yeah. See, we fancy. We know about the vacation sigils. The door is blocked on the other side. It's a classic case of revocation. Bradley? Oh. Is that you? Oh, Slurpees. I don't like that. Try to get rid of me. <laughs> Jealous. <laughs> what will her room reveal about her? Her skinny bones. <laughs> <laughs> she tried to swim, and Cthulhu started pulling her down. <laughs> Barbiturates. Oh, oh. Sarah Hawkins must have been extremely <laughs> agitated resorting to what? such a I always knew I'd find my barbiturates. Mother, my mother was a barbiturate. <laughs> oh, by the way, the paintings have scratches on them. Wait, what? How am I missing all of these? Oh, wait. 
Oh, this this one's fine. Oh, does that mean the the on the in the hallway? I oh think no. Is, uh... Yeah, I've got green thing going. This padlock okay. is There's too There's a hidden item somewhere. Oh, geez, the lights went out. Don't it's like fine. It. It's Don't fine. Like it. It, it's basically fine. All right, I want to find this hidden item. The vase. Uh, oh, I see something there. on the bookcase behind you. Oh. This one? Well, it's a mantle. I don't see a bookcase, though. There's books. Aha! Hmm. <laughs> uh, no, no, you're good. I appreciate it, especially since I'm missing things. I like to know how deeply I should be feeling Wait. screwed. Oh, there's the claws. Yes. Oh, oh no. Yeah. Oh, this is just, is this is a painting room. Was. Why was there already a lantern up here? See, this is why houses burn. The lantern was up here lit, because we don't have one. And we're just going to pick it up? I mean, I'm willing to bet somebody creepy left that lantern. It was the cop, I bet. Wait, what happened to him? Oh, you know what? Maybe he's been taken. <gasps> Maybe the thing that scratched up the paintings already got the cop. Swiftly. And just We'll find his body somewhere. Ah, no, it's just painting. It's actually pretty That's good rendering. Also not good. Oh! Well, you see, we just have one of those picture. We have one of those faces that people just envision. Oh my gosh, Colt. Oh, oh, oh. Are we running? Stop! Okay, we need you to pick up the pace, bud. Oof. Pop? Did you see which way he went? Ooh, I didn't see any. Uh, a most incompetent cop point. friend. I bet he was the cult right. guy. A man was hiding on the upper level. He ran when he saw me. He can't be far. Okay. Um, I'm more of a bit of a cop. Wait, wait, wait. We, um... Oh, I thought it was giving... Maybe it was just the door handle. Okay, crooked, so crooked. This door is blocked from the outside. All right, so if he couldn't have gone far, he came from that way. I'll the guy you. must have ran this way. Light source. Oh. We just have a permanent light fixture now. Nice. All right, so he must have run this, this door way. was closed earlier. Where did he go? Where did he go? Seems like this came from a Do log. Do you see where the man went? Where did the man go? <laughs> it looks like a freehand map of dark water. Is that really what it looks like? Being highlighted. Cthulhu, no why? slurping. <laughs> Cthulhu, no slurping. Oh, man. I just realized that lantern has limited Clearly, fuel. Clearly, Charles Hawkins knew Captain Fitzroy very well. Very I wonder well. who the man really with the glasses is in the here. photograph. I don't see Probably any way out. Probably a friend of Hawkins. Oh, oil refill. Wasn't there something else on the ground? Mm, there's a chair. Nope. It looks like an old seaway map. Boyd, how's it going? Currently on a four-month streak. Thank you so much. Uh... Good evening. It can't stay long, but I hope you had a good, great staycation. It was great, and I appreciate you stopping in. What'd you say? Looks like the navigational Turn around, paths. Look Describe Turn around. Look at ah scratches. As if the bookcase has been moved oh, several I times. Oh, move the bookcase. No, no. I bet you there's a switch. We just need to find Wait, it. Can we not take that scroll that was in there? No. There was something on that. Okay. Huh? Turn around. Turn around. Right. On that bookcase. This one? No. Which one? Yeah. Oh, 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 green thing. Charles Hawkins was keeping her father's letters from her. Okay. Okay, so this bust is a bust. Ooh, ooh. 
They look like Celtic runes. Charles must have brought them back from one of his foreign trips. Oh, globe. Oh, the globe in the map. I this see something on the floor part of by a mechanism. bookcase. Yes. That says 740. Alright. Oh, no. Is this going to be like one of those things where I need to actually know where to go? Oh, no. Alright. So. Doesn't here's work. The thing. My I geography skills is iffy at best. So, no, no. The map. The map guy. Looks like the navigational paths described in the log. Somebody added coordinates to the sea map. They make up a journey. Surely I don't have to make up all of them, though. So this is in Dark... Oh, maybe if I just find Dark Mouth, which is in Massachusetts. I should be able to do that. So there's Brazil. Massachusetts would be around there. Darn. Doesn't work. I must have missed something. Okay. Top friend? No. No, no, no. <laughs> no, no, no. Back to the map. As if the bookcase has been moved several times. Oh, I wonder if maybe was, if... Was there... Because I have clues. Maybe if I look at mm -hmm. clues. Also, can you get to that scroll that's inside the desk? Or... Mm -mm. It doesn't highlight. He doesn't believe in scrolls. Oh, wait. This is a map. No, this is, this is not the map that we need, though. I bet. All right. Um, so clues, chapter. OK, nothing's coming up helpful. What oh, wait. That? Fate brought us together, and forever it will bind us. We need bindings. OK. Looks like the navigational paths described in the log. Oh, wait, there's one that's like in the middle of the sea. None of them really have specific markings on them, except for the one dark. Oh, wait, maybe he said specific to a log. Where is that log? There must be a link with the seaway map. Okay, so dark water. So 42 captain says he... May God be merciful. I preferred it when the whales disappeared with traces. Oh, without traces. Um, we dropped anchor near a village. The inhabitants say that the waters are red with the blood of sacred beasts, and to follow them is to defy the gods. I told them that I only feared God Almighty. Okay, we have signed a huge whale in the distance. We caught it. It's the most grotesque whale I've ever laid eyes upon. It will go in my memory as the biggest catch ever. We have beaten the office. Um, returned with empty holds. See Ahab. Uh, oh, you think it's a Moby Dick? Um, so the, I'm uh, thinking it's Tuesdays, because it's talking about a village. 49 North, 61 West. Looks like the navigational paths. Describe 49 North... Okay, so that one's like up in the peninsula. Up in the, the oh do. They, got, they also have numbers on the. Oh. I think it was about there. Doesn't work. Um, crazy words. I must have missed something. I tried that one. Dark water is right here. It's uh on seven. Wait, what? Doesn't work. I must have missed something. So, go back and find out what, what the coordinates for this stuff are. Am I supposed to, like, align it to, like, a center of this thing? I wish yeah. there was, like, a I think dot. It's, I think it's to this. That's what I thought. It would be, like, quite higher. Oh, wait. It's actually over there. <laughs> Doesn't work. I must have missed something. Why did Looks they like add the this navigational kind of puzzle? Paths described in the log. All right, so maybe go back to the logbook and see the important coordinates. There must be a link with the seaway map. 
So the 49 and the 61 is the village. That sounds important. The other one is 33 north and 53 west. Because that's where they yeah. caught it. So 33, 53. Thirty-three, yeah, and fifty-three, yeah. Doesn't work. Uh, I must have missed something. Why is this it? Look on the map and see. Looks like the navigational paths described. Oh, it doesn't sound like forty. Wait, forty-three. I don't even see it on here. Uh, there it is. Um, Where? It's the biggest numbers in the very middle. 33 <laughs> north, 53 west. Oh. <laughs> the so. biggest numbers. Oh, yeah. it's, it's like right up on the grid thing. So like right about there. Doesn't work. Oh, come on! Wait, on. I must have I missed something. What? Take it and put it in the center of the compass. Are you kidding? Looks like it worked. <laughs> Are you joking? <laughs> wow. Well oh. done, Pierce. Ah. We were That's aggravating. We were overthinking it. Yeah, we're over there log cooking, cross-referencing to maps. Searching it on there, getting it's coordinates. Like, they're like, circle peg goes in circle hole. <laughs> <laughs> Apps. Oh, tunnels under. Oh, these tunnels look familiar. Secret tunnels. Secret tunnel in the mountain or through the mountain. Secret tunnel. Yes. I think I've got their stylistic. I was also Naruto, and one of the the villains was like, I'm playing one of those things, it was like, meow, meow, meow. A sitar? Uh, oh, wait, no, a sitar is probably better. It was, it was more like a loop, but it had like a, a pick like that was yeah. like a weird thing. But uh, I was just like, this is like secret tunnel. Secret tunnel through the mountain. <laughs> yes! <laughs> My, My cabbages! cabbages. Secret yeah, cabbage. He actually, under the manor. In court, like he has a like a whole novel. cabbage. That guy yeah. must have already Kevin's actually far. working on some avatar yeah. emotes. And he had a direct oh, yeah. means of entry to the, the crime scene. Done. Oh yeah, you, you must should do that. Three seats. Yeah. yeah, so far we have an Iro and a Sokka. The quenchiest. Yeah, Sokka is the quenchiest, and then uh, Iro is hydrate. Yes. Did Charles Hawkins use this place? Who were the others? Oh, oh no. Okay. How did you determine that they look like What is this mask supposed to <laughs> Through represent? my mind's eye, I picture they have basically um, <laughs> uh, Voldemort faces. <laughs> you can or, tell by the way they were sitting, they had no face. <laughs> Classic case of <laughs> Cthulhu cults. No faces. Oh, wait, there was a box. Uh oh. Box? Oh, now we can open it. Did Charles Hawkins hide something in this chest? I mean, it is a chest. Right, there's something else here. Oh, egg? No, that's not an egg. I feel like, why wouldn't we be looking at- Oh! Yeah. Cthulhu a baby! Like Mother Mary. That's actually kind of cool. We should- I wonder if they had those, um- those Catholic candles, you know, that has like Mother Mary that has Cthulhu. Yeah. yeah, I wish. I, oh, I wish I had my Cthulhu shirt. What was I thinking? This piece of cloth is unmistakably from a dress. Was Sarah Hawkins here? Uh oh. Mind's eye! Okay, so we're in the underground antechamber. Do I have another point? I have four points. Yeah, I'm getting points all over the place. All right, so let's do that. And I think, don't we have any? Okay, we haven't. 
six 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 six. Oh. <laughs> okay, let's do one in. I think eloquence. So hidden spot's been good. So I want to do one in there, and eloquence, and maybe strength, because. Yeah, let's do that. Get them all up in the four to fives. Ooh, our occultism. It's ever increasing. I'm so proud of our occult knowledge. Push him. <laughs> Dang it. <laughs> yep. I don't I trust there's him. Some, there's something on the ground. I don't see it. Find his booty. Dang it. Oh, wait, is this it? Oh, okay, never mind. All right, I guess I'll go first. Even get the others over there, push him. <laughs> I would if the game would allow. I would just dream up, blame it on the fact That's that like I had a drink earlier. Everyone's first thought. Oh, it just keeps going. Oh no. Of course. Lock. And something tells me that the key uh, is climbing these steps. He's like on my <laughs> shoulder. All over this island. Uh, Give him the go size away. Of this yes, I I don't like it. There's got to be other entrances. I don't like it. <laughs> so close. I ain't so gonna close. squeeze in there. I'll find another way. If possible, Here, let me, I prefer let me not find to ruin way. my uniform. Yeah, fine, possible. fine. Go look for another entrance. I don't I'll like try my either. luck down below. <laughs> it's like... It's Why a, are we going down? It's it sounds like Igor is trying to voice act, you know, and he can't really break the Igor character. Oh no! That's what. I'm sure you will find another way. Why can't we find another way together? Well, I don't want him to be with me, but I would like if we're gonna separate, and I go further into this, that he gives me his gun, because I assume he has a gun. And I'm I'm a, I'm a veteran. I know how to use a gun. I know gun safety. Well, maybe, but oh oh oh. Oh uh, no! Not tight spots. Oh so oh no! We're reckless abandon. Oh, there's tight spots. Oh, he's playing a banana stand. Oh, <laughs> would you trust him with a gun? Really face. I mean, I don't trust the cop with the gun. Dream That's why I want him to give me I his touch gun. Because I feel like he definitely has one. Okay. So, now it's Cthulhu is in cahoots with the Blair Witch. Is what I'm seeing here. These paintings must be several centuries old. Uh oh. An old diary. Old diary. Days. Sad way to go. I mean, it looks like a quick way to go. This monstrous creature must be an allegory. An allegory. Oh, an allegory. I get it. It's an allegory. These people lying down. Are they dead? Are they asleep? Hmm. I'm gonna go with dead. I'm gonna go with. Let's not think about that. Instead, let's look at this. Okay, actually, it's worse. I want to find more occultism. You burn yourself? Yeah, that happens. I, I mean, it is a lighter. I mean, but like, if you're holding it the same way, there's no way you can burn yourself. I mean, it heats up, and it's an old lighter. It probably isn't as good as the ones we have nowadays. They were always burning their fingers. Back in the day. This reminds me of, uh, Are they Star food? This reminds me of Star Wars. Oh, ooh, we gained a CP for falling into a cave. Oh no. Oh, oh. Police man? Oh, looks like. See, this would be a perfect time for him to pass me his gun. I'm also time a detective. Has these structures. Yeah, time does that to lots of things, mate. Tom has re time has weakened your structure. Okay. Oh. Alright, so we saw Cloak Guy go that way. 
So we're gonna go down. Down to the It looks like animal oil. <laughs> what is this? Whale. Okay. Maybe this is what cat deals in. Cthulhu oil. Oh. Uh oh, it's cutscene. What's going on here? We're gonna watch the cop die. I mean, we can only hope. Keep your voice down. We're not alone. We We'll well. See. I'll go on. Try to go down on your side. Yeah, th there's a passage. I'll meet you at the bottom. Hmm. I feel like he's gonna get caught, and I get to laugh. I mean, run. Yes. <laughs> Part of the reason is because I'm already lost. Okay, here we go. I feel like I probably want to keep my light off. Okay. I get better with time. Alright, um, this seems like a good time to do the old... Ooh, music! Music, it's gone music! Oh no! Our picture is on the mantle under, under the Grand Cthulhu. Oh my God. <laughs> uh. what, have, what have we done? Why not the cop? A table for sacrifice? Maybe that's good. Well, actually, it could work in our. Fa oh, oh, there's grave. a hell pit. But it could work in our favor because that means they're interested in us. They won't be as interested in the cop, though. So the cop is cannon fodder. An engraved I think. whalebone. A strange creature has been carved into it. Probably a hmm. figure of worship. That's not. Jump to conclusions. <laughs> I don't want. I feel like someone's going to grab me when I do it. Oh yeah, definitely grabbing and poly pitting. I'm gonna fall in that pit. Oh. Oh, we look more haggard than I thought. Oh. Called both. It's our dream war. I got. I got it. Oh, the slurps. We have the slurps. We what? Panic attack. Some situations. Flee the place as fast as you can. Oh, oh, oh no. Okay. No, damn it! I must find a way out of here. Okay, have we tried being calm? We're all good here. Everything's fine. There's just algae on the wall. It, I assume. Is it my turn? Yes. It is time. You will soon be one of us. Oh, no. If your body and mind are ready. I dream of it every night. I have See, this is why I feel like we don't want to drink too much. Our mind needs to be ready. ready. Good enough. Or it keeps us Prove calm. it to us. It's my like body is ready to turn. <laughs> oh, ooh, ooh. there's a bottle of something. Well, I'm safety crouching. A pre-Columbian tribal dagger. Okay. Probably destined for scarification rituals. We should grab it. Okay, nice. Stab people. Yes, right in the heart. Go for the kill stab. Can't equip it. Nope. Dang it. <laughs> Pre-classical Latin? Let's see what it says. What? what is this awakening they talk about? Oh. The sacred flesh. Well, I can give you a hint. They want to awaken Cthulhu in themselves using their fleshy bits. Oh, so this is where we got the lantern in the dream. If that's the case, once we go for the gate, isn't past the gate where we got got. Yep. Sacred flesh. 
Is that what they call circumcision? <laughs> I mean, I don't think they would be sacred. I think that's why it gets cut off, or at least traditionally. I don't think it... Nice. Well, we... As soon as we go forth and know them as better, soon as man. We get oh yeah, classic cop. Maybe they're gonna show the cop. The cop's gonna get his comeuppance. Or the cop is one of the. Who's on the table? Maybe the cop let us. You who sleep, accept this dream as a yearning okay. for the world. Safety crouch. Yeah. Uh, Should I go towards them? The target. Grant my investigation. Your and accept we this pronounce it could... so that his body and yours may be one. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I feel like. I, I feel him. I'm not involved in this man's him. crazy. Not my not fault. I'm just awesome. Let him. I don't blame you. Okay. Oh no, this is just water. Oh. No. Uh oh. Can't go out that way. Alright, I have eliminated. I feel like once they're done with their little ritual. Oh. Oh, there's people. Oh. Sacred flesh. More sacred flesh. Maybe I can take their clothes and be one of them. That is dead. Okay. This ritual killed him. Where's the sense in that? Well. Again, this primitive writing. Oh no. Trying to make sense of it. Oh no. <laughs> we are ready for the ceremony. Oh no. No 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 no. <laughs> His wailing <laughs> is finished. Me? He will join you shortly. Me? <laughs> I'm so glad they have this function. I would legit, Me? like, sneak around and just put up for you that ritual. Like, okay. well, the game's over. A sin for you. It's gonna get to the gate. I, I don't trust it. Oh! Okay, cutscene. Now the cop will get his. I think. Okay. I think this room is worse. Oh, this room is way worse. Those masks are cool, though. They are. Oh, I wonder if they're on that one site. Seagull? <gasps> I saw two odd looking guys coming down. Seemed up to no good. They're so loud. What in the world is this? Shut up. Brad, intruder! Oh shit. Ooh, ooh. We don't have to show off our Don't move! I knew we had a gun. Police! Don't move! Oh. I want it so bad for the cop to be I cooked. I won't hesitate. Bradley, get back. Get back. You asked for it. Oh. So why aren't we running away? Yeah. Charles. You shouldn't have Charles. seen this. Ah! Well, I think he's dead. Oh no! Run! Run, boy! No, stop turning around! They're caving in! How did they have? Uh oh, uh oh, okay. Wait, so was the dream we had from the perspective of the cop? Ah, uh, maybe, actually. Because the cop definitely got his. Running, running, running. Oh my and it's like, gosh. Maybe, maybe it's Wait, can we visions. not make it? Did I mess it up? Maybe it's just his visions. He can't see people's faces. Ah! 
My leg. My legs. <laughs> I ain't got no legs. I'm disabled. <laughs> leg disabled. Acid. It was acid. Oh no. Come on, buddy. Limp like you mean it. Oh, 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 Colty. Okay, once I get out of here, I feel like that'll be the end of this chapter, and that'll Light. be the break point. At oh. Last. oh, is it at last? I feel like we're going no. to get grabbed. No. <laughs> oh, oh, no! Well. Oh, Danny, you ain't got no legs. <laughs> you hate to see it. <laughs> I'm going to see who we can read out to you. So I'm going to be back with this game tomorrow. Uh, so I typically stream at 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So that will be back. That will be my back time tomorrow. Yes. Um, but let me... <laughs> yeah. Let me... Yes. More Cthulhu. All the Cthulhus. Um, let me see who is on. And... We can go from there. Um, oh, thank you for co uh, following Cthulhu. It's it's like the reverse. Instead of me following Cthulhu, Cthulhu has followed me. I don't know if I want Cthulhu. To no, 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 no. I am on it. Out of context, I definitely don't want. I mean, Cthulhu to follow if Cthulhu is following you, though, I feel like aren't you doing something right? <laughs> Maybe something really wrong. <laughs> I don't know. You won't be doing something for very long. That's for sure. Ooh, oh, you might be right. All right, let's read out to um somebody from the Discord. Their name is Wrestling and Magic. Um, so let's do that. As long as there is goth girls in fishnets and wine, we are fine. <laughs> yes. As long as it, as long as it rhymes, everything is fine. <laughs> Titus Andromedon. Where am I typing? There we are. He is playing Resident Evil Village. Resident Evil Village. Um, yeah. He's playing that. So we're gonna read out over there for more horror content. And like I said, I'll be back tomorrow, three PM, EST, with more Cthulhuing. Bye.